One of the pieces I'm most excited to see installed is by an artist named Casio Vasconcelos. It's called Uma Vista, which means a perspective. And it consists of a, photo, a very large scale photograph of a, land, a very gritty urban landscape in Sao Paulo, which actually represents the tracks between two elevated subway trains. What he's done is to fragment this image um, into 70 pieces that are placed in row upon row upon row in the gallery, almost like a shifting black and white kaleidoscope, so that when you move around it, it looks like um, just this kind of random configurations of bits of an image, but when you stand in one spot, like the title says, one perspective, the image comes together and you see the whole thing coalesce into the bigger picture. And I think it's really interesting to think about this idea of the creative dialogue with the past in reference to this work, because there was a, there's an artist called Elio Itisica, um, who is perhaps one of the best known artists um, of the 50s and 60s in Brazil. Um, and he uh, was one of the artists who launched painting and color off of the wall of the gallery into the real space um, to encourage participation by the viewer, to encourage the viewer to become enveloped in the work and really to experience the work in a bodily way. So he had a series called The Grand Nucleus in, from 1960 to 66. And what this consists of is uh, a series of monochromatic uh, panels that hang from the ceiling as if in a labyrinthine or a maze format that the viewer walks through. So the, the our artwork by, by Vasconcelos takes this tradition and blows it apart by adding this very mundane, banal image of the elevated subway train in Sao Paulo. So he's not only dealing with precedence in terms of really requiring active viewers to move around the piece in order to engage it fully and comprehend it fully, but he's also engaging uh, traditions of documentary photo photography as they've been practiced um, throughout Brazil. So this is a piece that um, I think will be really interesting for our viewers to see because there's one sweet spot. It's the, it's the single perspective that you must stand in to see the whole image come together before your eyes. Um, and when you move around, as you move, it shifts with you. Um, so it's almost like the choreographed um, interaction between the viewer and the artwork.